There's a way of dealing with you too, Jeb. And maybe I'll use it. It's almost dark outside. I'm going to chain you to the wall. Huh? Uh, what if... What if I refuse to be chained to the wall? It wouldn't do you any good. I have my orders. Oh, 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 get, your, get your hands off me! You don't like the touch of death, do you? Oh, no. Now, move over that way. Get up against that wall. And stay there. Take those manacles and put one on each wrist. Go on, do as I tell you. Ready to knock before entering this house. Oh, well, Mrs. Stoddard promised me that uh, I could feel free to come and go as I please. Oh, I see. Then feel free by all means. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> I won't, Mrs. Cousins. May I ask what you are doing here? Or would that be out of bounds? No, no, that wouldn't be out of bounds. I uh, dropped by to see David. Why? He's going to show him some photographs I took last week. Photographs of what? You ask a lot of questions, Mr. Collins. I care about the welfare of my son, and it concerns me the company he keeps. Well, let me tell you, you've got nothing to worry about. That is for me to decide. <laughs> Will you let me finish? Now, you see, uh, David and I have become very good friends. He likes me, and I like him. But he is my son, and if I don't like his choice of friends, then it's up to me to do something about it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is. What do you plan to do, Mr. Collins? He hasn't been himself lately. I don't think you should see him. In fact, I forbid you to see him. Ah, I see. Yeah, well, that um, may present some pretty sticky problems, Mr. Collins. Because I don't know how you're going to stop me. I'd like to speak to Quentin Collins, please. Quentin, Roger Collins. I've just had my first run-in with that young man, Jeb Hawks, and it's going to be my last run-in with him. Well, I'll tell you what I mean. I intend to put up with no more of this insanity. I cannot and will not stand by and watch him corrupt the lives of everyone around me. Don't tell me that, Quentin. There is something I can do. I'm going to have him run out of Collinwood, off this property. Out of the state, if I have to. I no longer care about the risks involved. Somebody's got to stand up to him. Somebody's got to tell him what a cheap, insufferable pig he is. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Quentin. Wondering how much I heard, Mr. Collins. I don't care if you heard all of it. Well, I heard enough. I want you out of this house and I want you to stay out. That was Quentin you were talking to, wasn't it? It makes no difference who I was talking to. Oh, but it does make a difference. Because if that was Quentin you were talking to, you know a lot more than I thought you did. And your attitude really surprises me. Surprises you? Yes. Because you probably thought that Quentin's stories about us were exaggerations. But let me tell you, Mr. Collins, they weren't. It's all true about us. And let me tell you another thing. 
while you're still in one piece. We don't tolerate defiance. And if you think you can break me, if you can ruin me, you can't. Because you think about your son and your sister and all the other people. You think about how much you love them. And you also think how you would feel if something happened to them. Because something could happen to them. And to you, too. You're a monster. Just get one thing straight. Don't mess with me. Don't rock the boat, Mr. Collins. You just leave things the way they are. Quentin Collins, please. to Jeb, Nicholas will have to appoint a new leader. And I'm sure I can convince him that I'm the best qualified. Yes, there's no one else. It'll be dark soon. It'll be dark and Jeb will be dead. <laughs> Going somewhere, Bruno? Well, it'll be dark in a few minutes, and I thought I should start prowling through the woods. Well, why don't you just stay here? Because I want to talk to you. About what? About a lot of things. Oh, man, are you still uptight? Yeah, I'm still uptight. You know why? Because things keep getting worse. Our enemies increase instead of decrease. What happened now? I just put Roger Collins in his place. But I'm not worried about him. It's that spirit that's haunting us. I don't know what to do about it. Well, don't worry about it. We'll think of something. You know, I've decided that it isn't the spirit of Paul Stoddard. Why? I don't know. I mean, I just have a feeling, a gut feeling. I know it isn't. Look, you better let me go because I've got to uh, get ready for that werewolf when he makes his appearance. Why, why are you in such a hurry to leave, Bruno? I'm not. I just want to play it safe and be outside when he gets there. Yeah, well, you've got plenty of time to go outside. So why don't you just sit here and cool it? And you don't leave until I tell you to leave. changed. 
Why? That's my business. I didn't get here a moment too soon, did I? So, my suspicions all proved to be correct, didn't they? My, my, Mr. Jennings, how you've changed! Does the tone of my voice anger you? Good. I want you to get good and bad. Mad enough to rip my to shreds! See that you should be grateful to me for saving your life. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to show your gratitude because I have new plans for you. Important new plans. Megan, wherever you are, my mind will reach you. You'll know I need you, and you will come to me. You will come to me, Megan. Come to me. You must. Tonight. Is that why you're so upset? You know why I'm upset. Yes. Even a man who is pure at heart and says his prayers at night can become a werewolf when the wolf bane blooms and the moon is full and bright. That's enough, Megan. Oh, you were the one who taught me that poem. Look, that thing is out there in the woods looking for me, and Bruno has to find him tonight and kill him. I command you, Megan, come to me now. I need you. I need you. What's the matter with you? Nothing. I... I... I just remembered something I... I've got to do with Collinwood. Something that disturbs you? No, no, of course not. Oh, come on, your whole mood's changed. Is there something you haven't told me? Huh? You know I've never kept anything from you. May I go now? Sure. Go ahead. First thing I'm going to do is get him into a proper frame of mind. I don't understand. But well, you will in a minute. Ah, does the shiny metal bother you? <laughs> Look at it! Break loose. Get outside and wait by the door. I'll handle this alone. Go on! Like I said, I want you mad. Mad enough to rip a man to shreds. Because that's what you're going to do for me later on tonight. Yes. Oh, his name is Jeb Hawks. And you're going to kill him for me.
I'm in, Megan. I got here as fast as I could. I'm very grateful. I need your help. I came here to be with you. That will come later. But there's something I want you to do for me first. Tell me what it is. I received a note from Julia Hoffman a while ago. Apparently, Chris Jennings has been missing from his cottage since early last evening. Now, I've told you about Chris. Yes. And there's a full moon tonight. He'd agree with Julia to go to, to, go to Wincliff. And when she went to look for him, Sabrina told her that he'd been missing since last night. Now, I'm afraid that, that Jeb may have him. But, but I was just with Jeb. What? No. The way he was behaving, I, I can't believe that he knows anything about Chris. Well, he wouldn't just go away without, without telling Julia or Sabrina. What about Bruno? What if he's found out? I, I don't know. Bruno hasn't been around the carriage house much since... Since when? Since last night. Megan, you must go back there right away and find out what you can. Now, Jeb must certainly know what Bruno is doing and where he is. Barnabas, I, I don't want to go back to Jeb's anymore. It's, it's too risky. I'm, I'm sure he already is suspicious. But you must do this for me. It's vitally important. I just want to be here with you. Megan, don't force me to make you go. I don't want to do that. But I want you to. Go on, Barnabas. Go on. I want you to. What have you done to him? Just showed him who was master. He'll be pretty mad when he wakes up. Okay, you can loosen up the chains. You want him to be free? Only from the chains. I don't want him to get out of this crypt. Why do you want him loose in here? I have my reasons. Is that the way Jeb wants it? If it isn't, I don't think we ought to do it. Well, it is the way that Jeb wants it. And we do what Jeb wants, don't we? Yes, 